All right, welcome back. Uh, yes, it's, uh, as you may have seen, the big list yesterday, making the rounds. Uh, politicians, I'm sure they'll be looking through all of those. And I know, too, maybe may have gotten some more response as a result of that, but we'll find out in a minute. Let me introduce the lineup of uh, guests that we've got today as we look at issues concerning INEC, the lists, uh, electoral guidelines, and perhaps sundry issues. Uh, all in Abuja at the moment. Mr. Fistu Sukoye is the National Commissioner and Chairman, Voter Education Committee for INEC. He's there in Abuja. And then you've got uh, uh, Johnson Anene, who is the SDP Senatorial Candidate for the FCT as well as Dr. Emeka Okegu, the National Chairman, Alliance for Social Democrats. Gentlemen, good morning, and thank you for joining us today on the program. Yeah, good thank morning. You, thank good you morning. very much. Okay, let me, let me start off uh, that of the SDP. Uh, INEC, we'll, we'll come back to Mr. Okoye in a minute. Uh, your party, from the list INEC released now, there isn't any uh, presidential candidates. Uh, what's going on in your party? Is that how... The cookie is going to crumble? Well, um, uh, thank you very much. Um, you know there's a, um, um, a pending uh, a court issue on that. Uh, you know that uh, the former uh, presidential candidate uh, was uh, announced, but um, uh, the other person went to court. And uh, the court is here to decide on that. So it will be wrong to field any candidate. Either of the two candidates will have to wait until the court takes a decision before the party can announce any candidate. So that's the reason that uh, the party has not uh, fielded any candidate, because uh, the, court has, uh, the court has to really take a decision before the party can uh, take a position on that. Uh, but, but Mr. Koye, I mean, when this list came out, I know politicians, some of them going through the list, some may feel disappointed, while others may just punch the air in delight. What kind of response? Are you inundated with reactions concerning those that you've left behind from political parties? Well, I, I, let, let me just clarify the issue relating to uh, the SDP uh, uh, candidates. Yeah. The truth of the matter is that uh, the name of Donadu was forwarded to the Independent National Electoral Commission as the candidate of the SDP uh, for the uh, presidential elections. Now, thereafter, the Independent National Electoral Commission received a court order to the effect that all the votes that were scored by Donadu uh, during the SDP primaries were wasted votes, and that the candidate for the SDP in the presidential elections should be Professor Jerry Ghana. But the court went further to direct that it is the political party itself, that it is the SDP, that should submit the name of Jerry Ghana to the Independent National Electoral Commission. As at the time we published the list yesterday, the SDP has not forwarded the name of Jerry Ghana as the presidential candidate of the party. If the party forwards the name of the presidential candidate as directed by the, uh, by the court, the Independent National Electoral Commission will put up the name of Professor Jerry Ghana on the ballot uh, or on the list as the candidate of the party. So the onus is on the party. The court directed the party to forward. The court did not say that INEC should restore the name or uh, should uh, substitute or put up the name of um, uh, Jerry Ghana as the presidential candidate of the party. So we are waiting for the party to submit the name of Jerry Ghana uh, to the Independent National Electoral Commission as directed by the court. That is why we uh, 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 removed the name of the Donald Duke from the list that has been published. And by the side, we said by court order. So when the party complies with the court order and submits the name of Jerry Ghana as directed by the court, we will restore the name on the list. But on the issue of uh, whether we have been inundated with um, calls and, um, and, and, and protests and so on, of course we have released the list. We have done what the law requires us to do. We promised the Nigerian people that on the 17th day of January 2019, we are going to release the names, uh, the list of uh, presidential candidates, senatorial candidates, and candidates for the House of Representatives. 
we have complied with the law, we have released the, the, uh, uh, we have released the list. Now, if you noticed, there are so many places where, um, due to one court order or the other, or due to one challenge or the other, uh, names were, the, 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 the list was uh, left back vacant. We have done what we have told the Nigerian people, and we still stick to it, is that the Independent National Electoral Commission will obey orders from properly constituted court of law. The moment we certify that a particular court order is very, very clear, is not ambiguous, um, and that the court order emanates from a properly constituted court of law, we get a certified true copy of that particular court order, we read it and understand what the court says we should do, we will definitely comply. And that's exactly what we have done with the list we released uh, uh, yesterday. Concerning the, the SDP, do they, uh, from your perspective, are they time bound to submit that list? Well, it is the political party that um, is going to be on the ballot for today. Uh, anytime they submit that particular list, we will, uh, we will, we will um, uh, collect the list. If we go into the presidential election and we do not have the name of the candidate of the SDP, the logo of the SDP will still be on the ballot uh, because the court did not direct that we should remove the logo of the SDP from the ballot. What the court directed is that the political party should submit the name of Jerry Ghana as the candidate of the political party. So we will um, wait for them to submit. But if after some time they do not submit, we will uh, appraise the law and see what the law says in relation uh, to the issue of whether they are time bound or not. The question is, how much time do they have to do that? You said within, you just said within regulated time. How much time do they have to, to do that? Within, between now and when do they have to, to, to do that? Well, well, well you see, we, the, 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 the court, the court did not give a time specification when they should submit this particular uh, uh, name to the Independent National Electoral Commission. We removed the name of Donadu from the list based on a court order. The court order says the SDP should submit the name of Professor Jerry Ghana as the presidential candidate of the SDP for the uh, uh, February 16 presidential election. The court has not given us a time specification. So any time they submit the list, the Independent National Electoral Commission will co co um, we collect the list. If by the time we are conducting the presidential election, and there is no list, the Independent National Electoral Commission will still go into that election. Now, if the SDP wins the presidential election, then it becomes a different ballgame. But I believe that the political party um, is a law-abiding political party and that they should, within the next few days, um, uh, obey the court order and do what the law says they should do.